Hi, today we're going to concentrate the Creole Club with the night at the museum. Chapter 4, the longest day ever. This is week flew by. Before she knew it was time, it was Thursday night at the time to pack. They had to leave for the museum on Friday right, at, right after school. Mrs. Bunn had given the girls a helpful packing list. Many of the items were, were made. It seemed like they were packing for camp. But in other ways, it was different. No bug spray, no hiking shoes, no bathing, bathing suit. You didn't need much for camping indoors. Liz checked all of all the items. Her bag was just about full. She tossed in a granola bar for a snack. Then she stopped for a sketch and colored pencils on the, her desk. She packed those too. On Friday morning, Liz hurried into the school. She was ready to get the school day started. And finished. Then they would be off to the museum. Liz dove into her morning work. It was a worksheet on telling time. I wish I could tell time, Liz thought. I'll tell it to go faster. She looked up at the clock. The hands had barely moved since she had got into school. On the spelling test, all the words had long E sound. The next word is sleep, Mrs. Sienna said. Liz wrote the word and kept on going sleepover. She read out just in time and read the last four letters. During writing time, Liz worked on her biography of Eleanor Roosevelt. She tried to. Twice she realized she was doodling, not writing. But Liz usually loved reading group. Liz usually loved reading group. But she kept losing her place in her book. It was so hard to concentrate. At lunch, she sat near Ellie, Marianne, and Amy. But they couldn't talk much about the sleepover. There were other kids at her table, too. Liz didn't want them to feel left out. Even art class or favorite seemed to drag on. She liked now her pinch pot was turning out. But it made her wish she were at the museum, looking at the ceramics collection. Finally, after the longest hour of mad hour, it was time for dismissal. Out, in, out front, the girl spotted Liz's mom pulling it up in her van. Ready to go, Mrs. Jenkins called out the window. Liz slid the back door open. I've been ready all day, she replied. The girls climbed in. Mrs. Jenkins had already stopped by each girl's house to pick up her things. So they headed right to the museum. When they were almost there, Liz cried out, Oh, oh no, I forgot Ellie! Ellie tapped Liz on, the, on her shoulder. Oh, I'm right here, Liz laughed and shook her head. No, she said, I mean Ellie, my stuffed elephant. Her friends knew that Ellie too. Liz had it. Her head had, had had her since she was three. She liked to sleep with her at night, especially when she was away from home. Ellie Mitchell gave Liz's hand a squeeze. Don't worry about it, she said. We'll all be together, Amy agreed. Added. Besides, said Marion, it's a museum, not a haunted house. Bye.